City of Portland getting ready to launch a new program for responding to some 911 calls related to the homeless crisis. It is called the Portland Street Response. And this afternoon, the city commissioners approved the pilot project to dispatch an EMT and crisis worker to some mental health and homeless related calls instead of police. Our Amy Frazier is live outside of City Hall with a closer look at the program. It sounds intriguing. Well, the pilot program is set to begin this spring in the Lentz neighborhood. Supporters here at City Hall say it's a way to make the first responder system more effective. City leaders say the Portland Street Response Program is an answer to the high number of calls coming into 911 related to people experiencing homelessness or a mental health crisis because it provides an additional resource with compassion. The effort led by Commissioner Joanne Hardesty has been endorsed by hundreds of businesses, neighborhoods, and community members. A two person team made up of an emergency medical services specialist and a crisis worker will be dispatched in a van to low risk, non criminal incidents involving the homeless. For example, it might be someone outside yelling or intoxicated, or they could be sent to check on someone's welfare or health. Portland will start small with one team. Today we spoke with people in the Lentz neighborhood where the team will initially respond. I think it's a great idea. I think if, if police officers have pressing issues, these are pressing issues too, but I think that it's great to have specific people for specific goals or calls. Others in the neighborhood tell me they're a little bit skeptical, but it's a wait and see situation. One of the goals is to reduce unnecessary arrests. The Portland Police Association says time will tell if the project is worthwhile. The union stresses the program does not address the broader need for comprehensive services for the homeless. Back here live again, the pilot program will start this spring. We're told it will be evaluated after six months. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin Six News. Still ahead.